This is a new series of location photo soundbites that should be used in conjunction with my soundbites discussing technique. Currently, there are 15. See my YouTube channel or website derekforce.com. Cum Idwal offers the casual walker a taste of Snowdonia at its wildest, but you will need this map. The wearing of boots or stout shoes is essential, but due to its popularity, the National Trust has improved the path to avoid soil erosion. But this is not a walk in the park. Take the bus to Ogwen Cottage by Telford's A5, as the car park is often busy. Walk one mile to the big view for Triven, the Glitters and Devil's Kitchen. Terrain is exposed with no cover, so choose a good day. On this visit I was leading a photographic holiday and it was a brilliant, picture-perfect day, but variable cloud cover created contrast problems. It was too easy to end up with overexposed highlights or dark shadows, so exposure control was essential, demanding a technique that auto does not give. Saving to RAW is important as it gives more flexibility in post-production with Adobe Lightroom. The contrast ratio between highlights and shadows is too much even for today's high-tech cameras to handle, so I underexpose to contain highlights and restore shadows in Lightroom. Here is the Lightroom panel. By the way, I have cropped the image for the YouTube format. Camera is the magnificent Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and the equally excellent 12 to 100 Pro lens. I spot meter off a highlight and as it has an electronic finder, I can see what I am doing. In Lightroom, I play around with contrast, clarity and luminance, and purists will probably shudder at what I have done with highlights, white, shadows and black sliders, but it works. I handhold the camera as I am quite capable of shooting at a four hundredth of a second even when weighed down by the bus pass, and anyway it has a fantastic image stabiliser in both camera and lens. Exposure bias value is minus 0.3, white balance 6000 Kelvin. This is the original and it looks quite different. As for composition, when shooting water, lakes, rivers or sea, don't include too much water unless there is a reflection. Try and break it up with something such as foreground interest creating depth. Here are a few more shots, some taken on a previous visit, using the same techniques in camera and during post-production. But none of this will work unless you have the right weather.